And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Well, if you didn't get enough of the snow that we saw on Christmas, more snow is on the way. There is a winter weather advisory in effect until 10 o'clock tomorrow night. This includes the lower Snake River Plain, also the eastern Magic Valley. We could see about one to two inches of snow through tomorrow night, and then the snow will start for the overnight and continue and be on and off for tomorrow. Not necessarily going to see an inch on the ground by tomorrow morning, but when all is suddenly done, we could see between about an inch or two. And the winter weather advisory is in effect because tomorrow morning you could experience some travel difficulties. You might want to give yourself plenty of extra time when you're heading out to work for tomorrow morning. Already starting to see that snow make its way into the central mountains, panning into Arco Haley, and that band of snow will actually move into the Snake River Plain for the overnight. Even as we get a pan out, see where the rest of the moisture is, even more moisture will build in from the Pacific Northwest, and that will be our snowmaker for tonight into tomorrow. Looks like the snow will start to build in right around midnight across the Snake River Plain. Let's time it out. 10 o'clock tonight, those clouds building into the Snake River Plain, and it's seeing that snow by about 1 o'clock this morning across the Central Mountains, and it'll continue to be on and off into the overnight, even into the morning commute tomorrow. Still seeing those snow showers, especially along the I-86 corridor and the I-84 corridor as well along into the Magic Valley. Tomorrow right around lunchtime, seeing cloudy skies out there. So as far as sunshine goes tomorrow, not really going to see much of it across all areas. Expect a generally cloudy day. Put it in motion even by about 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow night. We could even see some snow showers lingering across Pocatello, even across the highlands in western Wyoming before it looks like we do see some clearing for tomorrow night, which will allow temperatures to become very cool for tomorrow night. Temperatures right now are in the teens for most locations. Some locations actually below zero across the highlands in western Wyoming. Five below zero right now in Yellowstone. Very cool. Five degrees right now in Jackson. Snake River Plain, not as cool. It's 15 degrees right now in Blackfoot. 18 degrees right now in Pocatello. And 16 degrees in American Falls. Those low temperatures for tonight will be mainly in the teens out there. So really not really changing for much from what they are now. And we could see that those snow showers build in to all areas. The snow showers will continue for tomorrow across the Snake River Plain with high temperatures mainly in the 20s. We'll have a high temperature of 24 degrees tomorrow in Idaho Falls, 23 degrees in Rexburg, 26 degrees tomorrow in Pocatello. Across the Central Mountain, snow showers are also possible. A pretty cloudy day out there, high temperatures in the 20s. And also for the highlands in western Wyoming, snow showers are likely as well. High temperatures only in the teens for some locations. It will be 19 degrees in Jackson, 17 in Afton, 16 in Yellowstone. It looks like we could even see more snow as we move throughout the week. Across Pocatello, your seven-day forecast, snow showers for tomorrow, partly sunny on Friday and Saturday. More snow possible on Sunday with highs gradually reaching into the 30s. Idaho Falls, your seven-day forecast, 21 degrees for your high temperature on Friday, 19 degrees on Saturday, 28 degrees on Sunday with more snow possible. Overnight lows in the single digits for some locations. Rexburg, your seven-day forecast, a couple degrees cooler than Idaho Falls by not by much. Partly sunny on Friday and Saturday. More snow possible on Sunday. Across the Teton area, snow is possible for tomorrow. Snow showers on and off throughout the day. Low temperatures for the overnight, well below zero for Thursday and Friday. And for the Central Mountains, expect snow showers for tomorrow and partly sunny on Friday.